Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to make an axe system. Let's get started. The first step is to go to the description and find my model. Once you have it, go to Toolbox, My Models, and insert the model to your game. And you'll see this pop-up that says, put this tool into the starter pack, and you can click yes. Okay, now that we have it, we can open it up and we can see that we have this axe animation. So what, what we gotta do now, you go to avatar, rig builder, and just click my avatar, but make sure the rig type is R15, and then click one of the avatars. And once you have it, click this animation editor. There we go. Just click your uh, user and just name this animation in whatever you want. And then, then click enter. Okay, now just le let's just move this arm and close it. Okay, so now we can open our rig and we can see that we have this group called Anim Saves. So just remove the automatic save and replace it with the X animation. Now let's go back to the animation editor and let's click this, these three dots and click Load X Animation. As you can see, we now have our X animation. So there we go. Boom. So let's click the three dots again let's click set animation priority and make sure it sets to action then you can click publish to roblox let's just call it action x animation then just copy the this id and write it down somewhere let's just make a new part called the id let's go and there we go as you can see we now have it over here great now we can remove the rig now we can go inside the local axe handler and we can see this axe animation we can just re uh, replace this uh, id with this id so let's just go in here and change the animation id now let's start scripting we'll first do the local axe handler first we want to get the player's uh, character so get the character by doing player.character and it might not have loaded yet so we'll do or player.character added wait then we'll get the humanoid which we'll use for animation so humanoid is character wait for a child humanoid and then we'll get the animation which is equal to humanoid load animation Script dot x animation. We also get the old walk speed, which will just be equal to the humanoid walk speed. We also get the active variable or bool value by doing script dot parent wait for child active. Active get property change signal value connect function if active.value then animation play come on there we go animation play script.swing play script.parent.equipped connect function humanoid dot walk speed equals zero and then script dot parent dot dot unequipped connect function humanoid dot walk speed equals old walk speed. Great. Now let's go to server script service and insert a new script. Let's just call it tree handler. There we go. So we will get the trees which we will put in a folder in workspace. And then we'll get the service call the debris, which we will use for like automatically deleting the tree after a certain amount of seconds once we've broken the tree. And then we will loop through loop through every one of the trees. Trees get yeah, children do tree wait for child wood dot touched connect function part. If part dot parent is a tool, 
then to also local to equals script dot parent if two dot active dot value then to dot active dot value equals false local health equals tree dot health health dot value minus equals tool dot damage dot value if health dot value is less or equal to zero then for each one of the parts in the tree set the parts and anchor property to false and set it can collide to false and then we will add it to the debris so that it gets removed I add item part and we will we will remove it in 10 seconds and that's the tree handler so let's go back to our game let's just design it a small tree I'm just gonna make a long log make sure it's anchored by the way there we go set the material to wood now let's make it brown as a tree should be and uh, there we go so now we have a log I can duplicate by doing Control D or Command V on Mac. I think let's make let's make some leaves as well. So let's choose green. Let me just okay. That's very ugly, but whatever. <laughs> it's just a tutorial. So I'm just gonna put one more on top. Make it a bit smaller. There we go. So now it kind of looks like Minecraft. There we go. Boom. Let's select everything, right click, click group as a model, let's call it tree. And this is a very important step. Select the part that should be like the branch that you that you use your axe to break. So it's the brown one. Um, make sure to call it wood, exactly like this, wood. Okay, and let's insert a new int value and let's call it help. This is the amount of health the tree has. I'm going to set it to 10. Also, go into your axe and set the damage to whatever you want to have it at. I'm just going to have it at, let's say, 2. Just again, just remove this part now, by the way. Okay, so let's make a new folder. Let's call it trees. Now let's put the tree inside. And actually, we can just duplicate it like this. Boom. And boom. And now we, let's go ahead and test. Okay. Oh, of course. I forgot the last script that we, of course, have to make the axe handler. So let's make the axe handler. So now we are inside the script. And this is a very short one. Don't worry about that. So we just want to get the debounce, which is like a cooldown. And the script of parent wave child active, which is this one, the active value script dot activated come on activated connect function if not active dot value then if not db then db equals true active dot value equals true and then we will wait like let's say one second set active to false and db to false and uh, script dot parent dot dot unequipped connect function active dot value equals false db equals false and now we should be good so the thing is make sure to publish your game okay let's just publish it real, real quick and this only works for r15 so go to game settings and avatar and make sure the avatar type is r15 and then we can give it another try. So let me go over to the tree and boom. And boom. Okay, something is wrong. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Part.parent. Part.parent. Very important. Let's go back. Let's go over to the tree and boom. And boom. 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 And there we go. As you can see, our tree has now fallen down 
and we have cut down the tree. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.